Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, I quite often get comments on my videos and people sort of asking about oh, motivation and things like that. So let's not talk about it. Let's, well, yeah, let's talk about it. Now, this is just one kind of comment that I get from uh, Kachu Chart. Kachu, ch Kachu ch Art, Kachu Chart. It says, I'm going to start college and I'm going to study visual arts and I love art, but I live in Puerto Rico. That's not a problem because there's this beautiful place, wonderful food, amazing sights. But when you ask stuff about financials, it's hard. I'm questioning if I should really go for it. One side I say, maybe I should be a dentist. It's a great job. It's the only job I can actually maybe like and didn't get to, didn't write any more after that. <sighs> if you're thinking about, should I be a dentist? I think you probably should, yes. Uh, because if you're going to be a full-time artist, I mean, it, 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 it requires dedication. I know, <laughs> I know. Um, I suppose people who aren't sort of artists will look at artists and think, what on earth do they do all day long? <laughs> they just lounge around and splash a bit of paint. But um, I, I think the people who do just lounge around and splash a bit of paint, they don't s sort of last very long or, or somebody's supporting them or something. If, if you're going to be a full-time professional artist, it is a huge amount of work. It's really, really hard. First of all, you've got to you've got to work on developing your skills, um, which is a huge amount. You know, to, to develop professional skills to a level where people will accept you as doing things in a professional level. And then you've got to have ideas, and you've got to keep coming up with ideas every single day. You've got to have a new idea every day. You wake up. It, it's, <sighs> It shouldn't be a drag. <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem. You should, in fact, wake up like, hey, I've had a fantastic idea. Let the day begin. I need to get on and do this. Um, but it doesn't always work that way. You know, some days are, are like that. And that's really great. Some days you wake up and go, oh, how am I going to put bread on the table today? What what kind of idea could I have? Uh, you know, who's going to buy this artwork? And, wh you know, wh where can I sell my skills? And all that kind of thing. But as a professional, you kind of build up contacts and you build up understanding of, of where you can sell your skills and, and ideas and things like that. But it takes time. And but you have to be totally dedicated to the whole concept of being an artist. And I suppose you have to have something to say. Uh, you either have to have something to say or you have to have a craft skill that you are just so absorbed by that you kind of want to cover the world <laughs> in your particular style um, of decoration or whatever it is that, that, you know, you just want to fill the world up with what you have to give. Does that make sense? And if you're going, oh, well, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to get paid enough. Maybe I should be a dentist. I will go and be a dentist and go and be an artist at the weekend. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, you, you're probably not going to advance your techniques and things like that as fast because you're busy working on dentistry, busy earning a living and you know, you'll eventually have a family, you've got mouths to feed. Um, so, um, but there is nothing wrong with being an amateur artist. Amateur just means that you're not a professional. You're not having to make a living out of it. Amateur just means that you, you do it for fun and, and for when you have time. It doesn't, amateur doesn't mean bad or cheap. It just means that you don't do it full time. Okay, so get over that kind of thing. Uh, amateur, am, doing art as an amateur artist is fine. And there are some amateur artists who are way, way better than some professionals. <laughs> but they don't have the hassle of having to come up with ideas and earn a living with their art every day. They just enjoy what they do, which is a huge bonus in life, enjoying something that you do. So here's another one from Sonia F says, thank you for your uh, creative uh, you know, advice videos. She says, um, well, one thing I'd, I'd love to be able to do is draw. However, I didn't think I was good enough. I know I've got a lot to learn about drawing, very much a beginner, I, but I didn't want to be made fun of. And I thought that I wasn't good enough and could never be good enough to hear things you said in your videos like, yeah, that's me. Also, it was good to hear how to change those things. I've been told before to believe in myself and at times I found that very hard. However, after watching these two videos, I feel a lot more encouraged to keep going and have a more positive belief. 
This is the power of positive thinking. <laughs> Some of you may well have watched videos on YouTube with guys going, yeah, you've got to believe in yourself. you got to really go. you got to do this. you got to do that. And while you're at it, send me some money. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of people like that <laughs> on YouTube. There are a lot of people like that in the world, in fact. And this believing in yourself thing is, is really, really tricky because it's, it's something, sometimes you can almost feel you can grasp it and then it just goes away. <laughs> at the same time and what it comes down to I have found I've watched all those videos I've been taken in by a lot of those videos um, and I've read books and stuff about psychology all sorts of things it all keeps coming down to I, I think I've, I've sort of narrowed it down to Hamlet Shakespeare's Hamlet who says nothing is good or bad but the thinking makes it so <laughs> it is such a it's such a simple concept that it is really difficult to grasp okay so so you can choose you can choose to think badly about something or you can choose to think well of something um so so if you say i really want to draw and and i'm going to draw and i love drawing well that's positive thinking and you just draw when you finished your drawing you can either choose to go oh that's rubbish I'm no good I'm really really bad <laughs> I'm never going to do this again or you can choose to say mm, it's not the best thing I ever did but hey look that was really good that's a really good little thing whoa I've learned something and move on and put that thing in next time and, and just build and build and build and build and build and 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 if you choose <laughs> to believe in something say this is who I am this is where I'm going, this is what I believe, you will get there. There are provisos, okay? <laughs> if you choose to do bad things, eventually they will trip you up, okay? So if you choose to do good things like art, stuff which builds on, you know, the whole wonderfulness of the universe and sort of moves the whole universe forwards, then what you choose will happen and and it things will build and you will eventually get to that place that you wanted to be and then you better go whoa fantastic <laughs> be really grateful for having got here <laughs> where are we going now and you've got to have a new plan of where you're going to go um if you go and say oh i'm gonna i, I want to get there i want to be rich by ripping people off you will eventually get found out and if you don't get found out you, <laughs> you're actually going to live a miserable life so <laughs> it doesn't matter if you've screwed millions of dollars out of people you're going to live a horrible horrible life and you're going to hate yourself deep down so if you want to feel positive about yourself and kind of love yourself and love everybody else do something do something positive that builds on the wonder of nature and increases the the wonder of the universe and and then you, it, the universe will help you i know it's sad you've heard it all it sounds weird and mystical but it will happen it's because you are allowing the right ideas to come into your head which will take you forward and you just meet the right people it, it just happens so it's 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 about choosing it's about choosing to think positively and not allowing those negative thoughts in so when you finish a drawing, don't look at it and go, oh no, that's rubbish, I'm terrible, I won't show it to anybody. Go and say, that was good, I really did well there. And and I even actually thank my pencil because I, I, I actually kind of believe that we're all, every atom is connected and that my pencil is kind of part of me, part of the whole thing. So I thank my pencil, I thank the paper, I thank the thing that I'm drawing. <laughs> See, we, we'll get it right next time because it's a partnership between you and your pencil and the paper and the thing that you're drawing. Everything in life is a partnership. So kind of thank all those things that you're working with and all the people you're working with. And it sounds very weird and very mystical. And I'm not trying to sell any religion or anything like that. <laughs> but that's kind of what people mean when they say about being positive and 
and it's be positive, but it's such a hard thing to express. If you know what it means, being positive, it's very difficult to explain exactly what that actually means. Well, thanks for watching and do make sure that you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel here on YouTube uh, for lots more drawing videos mm, all the time. <laughs> In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.